Yo, what's going on? It's Ajax here coming back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to warm up for comp games. I also use this routine if I just want to spend some extra time in the range and improve my aim. So it's really versatile uh, routine. So yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys what that routine is. So uh, let's just, let's hop right into it. Alright, so the first drill in this, what we're going to do is we're going to press F3. We're going to open up this little menu here. We're going to make sure strafe is off and we're going to turn bot armor off. And then we're going to just get them to spawn like here. And I like to just go stand in the middle and just start clicking heads. Um, you're going to want to make sure you're focusing more on accuracy than speed here. Like It does no good just to fucking... You know, just to go crazy like that, it doesn't do any good. So make sure you're just focusing on flicking those heads and really just getting a good feel for your mouse. Once you start to heat up a little bit, you can pick up the speed a little bit. I don't have like a specific like left to right or right to left I just you know I'll get one here one there you know spin around just really just getting comfortable with shooting people anywhere they're at close a little bit further the quick 180 once you do that for a minute or two I like to do the same thing just with a with an M4 you can do Phantom or Vandal, whatever you prefer. Obviously, you could do both. And just doing the same thing, really. You know, just kind of getting a feel for the gun for the day. Making sure you're... Making sure your mouse feels good. So same thing, you're just going to want to do this one for a minute or two and just just work on accuracy. It's not This one's not about speed. It's just important to get a good feel for the mouse. So yeah, after that, we don't need to change any settings. The next one I like to do is I like to come stand back over here and just work on my little flicks here. Just these micro little... These little micro movements in between head, just work on that. Again, working on not speed, but just that accuracy, making sure your bullets hit. You need to just slow down a little bit and make sure you're getting those bullets to hit. Once you get a little bit more comfortable, you can speed it up, obviously. This one is a little bit easier to do with uh, the Vandal because you can just hit the one tap. You don't have to hit them twice, but it's personal preference. Either way, you're still doing the same thing, just working on these little flicks. I don't like to go like straight left to right or right to left. I just like to... Just pick a target and go for it. I don't know, there's no pattern. Just just clicking heads, you know? Yeah, so for those first three drills I just showed, you're just going to want to do them for a minute or two, maybe a little bit more, depending on how you're feeling. And then I, I don't do this one very often, but sometimes, you know, you just want to make sure you're on point. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to walk around and just... Working on your pre-aim, just how you would swing corners, you know, making sure your mouse or your crosshair is, you know, right here on the edge. Like you're ready as soon as you see someone, it's you're shooting. You're not coming around the corner like this. Oh, there's a guy. You know, that, that time it takes you to look over here is the difference between you getting the kill and you dying. So you're just working on being ready. Good crosshair placement, head level, and just checking your corners here. Swing and keeping your crosshair where you expect people to be. 
keeping it nice and tight, checking. And I wouldn't say this one's that important, but you know, sometimes you just need to work on the fundamentals and just being able to clear corners right and having good crosshair placement is a huge part of the game. So definitely don't forget about that. All right, so for the fourth one here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Sage. And once you spawn in with her, we're gonna come back over here. Um, no strafe, you can have bot armor on or off. And we're just gonna get them to spawn like this. Like, like so. And we're just gonna swing out behind the wall and practice our peeking. And I really like this one because I feel like it's, it's like a actual situation you're going to face in game. Um, I mean like obviously if you know like people are here you're not going to want to swing out like this and you got 10 people shooting at you you know. You're just really going to want to work on exposing yourself to one at a time, taking out that target and getting behind cover. Just nice and easy like this. Wall breaks, not a big deal. Or you can even put the wall like this and kind of like get both sides. When the wall is like this, it's a little bit harder not to expose yourself, but it's like this, it's the same concept, you know, just peeking out, taking out that target, getting safe. And that's about it for that one. Um, nice and simple, but I think it's important because it, it really does um, resemble like an in-game situation that you will be in. So that's why I like that one. All right, so for the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna put Eliminate 50 on. Um, take Strafe off, and we're just gonna warm up on, like we did our, our little micro flicks earlier when they were standing still. Um, same concept except they're just bigger flicks and we're just gonna you're just gonna go and find the targets take them out quick as possible working on keeping your crosshair head level so I'm not like here oh flick up you know head level it should just be a horizontal line here that you keep your crosshair on just going head to head just to get that those bigger arm motions warmed up instead of just those micro flicks and I like to run through this one um, at least twice you know normally the Phantom and Vandal just to get make sure both of my my main guns are on point um, but it's not uncommon for me to go through it with like a Sheriff um, the Spectre sometimes a classic even um, the Ghost um, just all the guns that I have potential of using in the game. I want to make sure I'm Confident with them and after that we're gonna do the same thing except we're gonna turn on strafe just to make it a little more um, Game like you know like not very often you're just gonna have them standing still so the strafe on them You know makes it just that a little bit more game situational So and then we got strafe on here As you can see they're gonna they're gonna move a little bit so we're just gonna work on same thing, just confidently taking out our kills here. And the first time I go through it with strafe on, I like to um, just work on getting the heads. Um, not really a full spray, just tapping some heads here
I like to add some movement in here. Like, I don't like to just stand still and click. Like, I like to get a little movement in between each each uh, bot that spawns. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do the the same thing with the vandal here. Just working on in those headshots, not spraying yet. Really just focusing on getting those headshots. And same thing as the stationary ones, uh, you can run through it if you're just trying to go quick, a quick little warm up, just go Phantom and Vandal. But if you're trying to put in some extra time, make sure you're, all your guns are good, you can go through it. And with all the guns that you use, just that you're comfortable with them, that's basically it. Alright, so for this next drill I like to do, it's focusing on my spray transfer. And all you're going to do, start it, strafe, and on eliminate 50. And you're just gonna spray your first target, transfer to the second one. And like depending on how quick it is, like that one was very quick, uh, look for the third target, but normally it's just the two. See that was another quick one, so I went for the third. And like that one took a lot longer for me to get that second kill, so I'm not gonna go for the third. That's not realistic with the mag. If you really want to, you can go turn infinite ammo off and then really just get familiar with like the mag size like there I had enough for three kills and then that time I didn't quite get the third one so we're just working on our spray here our spray transfer I mean and just being able to get that quick double kill is huge oh let's see that was a juicy one left the four man with the one mag so yeah, we're just we're just working on our, our spray transfers here. I think this is a pretty good drill. Just just because you're not always gonna hit that that one tap, you know. So being able to control the gun in full spray mode is definitely a big part. And working on it and improving this is definitely gonna take your game to the next level. So this is one of my favorite ones to do. And for this one, I normally just. Uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, you can't really do pistols on this one, but, um, the Spectre, Bulldog, Phantom, Vandal, those are, like, the four main guns I use, so if I'm doing, like, an intense, like, aim training practice, I'll go through all of them, all those guns, but if I'm just trying to warm up real quick, um, I'll probably just hit the, the Vandal and the, the Phantom spray transfer. So you can, you can also come over here and do pretty much the same thing, just with these little flying robot things. Um, just work on your spray transfer. Um, it's a little bit harder because uh, they're smaller. I mean, I feel like that's better though. Because you can really work on controlling those bullets and like seeing where they're going. In the long run, you get good at this. It'll be a lot easier just to control the spray and get the that second headshot instead of just getting that those four or five body shots. Being able to control that spray to get the headshot on the second guy is huge and is definitely going to improve your game a lot. So don't sleep on this one. I got to say, if you're trying to warm up, you can't, you can't be spending an hour in the range and go into a game. You're, you're going to perform way worse than you expect. Um, a warm up is just a nice little 10 to 20 minutes in the range, just, just warming up. Um, Aim training is when you're really trying to work on aiming, you're going to spend a lot more time in there. And just if you spend a lot of time in the range and then go straight into a game, there's something about it, you just you don't perform as well. So make sure you get a nice little break in there if you're spending a lot of time in the range. So yeah, guys, that's it for my warm-up. My warm-up routine, my aim guide. If you guys found this helpful, be sure to leave a like, go check out my channel. And subscribe I'm gonna be coming out with another video here in the next couple of days and that's gonna be what I do in Kovacs for my aim training guide so if you're interested in that um, be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications for when that video goes live 
Um, that's been about it. Thanks so much for watching, and peace.